So, so at approximately 10.32 p.m. last evening, Milford's 911 dispatch center received multiple calls reporting a large fire in the area of Silver Sand State Park. Uh, firefighting units were initially dispatched and upon their arrival on the scene, they noticed the project behind us here was um, two, of, two out of the three buildings were fully engulfed in flames with the third building uh, beginning to burn as well. Uh, obviously, your first uh, glance at it here during the daylight uh, puts a perspective on the on the massive damage that happened. Exactly, it was uh, it was a large scale fire, large magnitude. Uh, crews initially went defensive on the fire. There was nothing at that point worth risking or potentially that we could save. So we set up large aerial master streams and ground mounted master streams, flowed large volumes of water onto the fire in an effort to suppress it. It took us approximately two hours to really get this fire under control. And right now we're still seeing a lot of water being poured on it in the last half hour. Yes, yeah, because of the uh, unsafe nature of the structure, now it's burned to a point where it could potentially collapse. We can't put firefighters underneath it. So however, we just keep a, a defensive position flowing lots of water to put out those hot spots in those smoldering areas. Is, it, is anything salvageable? Uh, it doesn't look so at this point, except for possibly some of the ramp and the pilings. Were, were there sprinklers? Uh, that's a good question. I, I, I'm not certain uh, what the fire marshal approved for this project uh, and, and what was functioning at the time. That would be better uh, commented on by the fire marshal or the state. You don't know. Is, what is about the state electrical fire marshal here? I, I'm not sure if he's on scene at the moment. Okay. The state fire marshal's on scene. Okay. State, so the state fire marshal is on scene. Yes. Looking in cause and origin, any any preliminary, you know? They will be right yeah. now. There, the there is no preliminary here. causes at this time. Uh, I don't know if the fire marshal actually has gotten to be on the structure itself just because the fire department's still dealing with the hot spots that are that are currently there. Um, once they give that clear, then they'll, they'll definitely be in there at some point today, I'm sure, uh, doing their investigation to see if there's early. any cause. So it's still early but is there any reason to believe at this point that this fire might be suspicious um we are looking at it that way for sure we're not going to rule that out so um but again at this time it's an active investigation and they ha they haven't even been in the building yet but it is something that we'll be looking into you, we talked this morning what are some of just your thoughts i mean the, the state spent nine million dollars on this this is just a huge loss it's uh it's devastating for the, the state it's devastating for the department of energy and environmental protection to put this kind of effort into a project like this and and to, and to see it just go up in flames in a short amount of time um, especially when it was projected to be open for memorial day weekend for the public to utilize um, so it's it's definitely going to be a setback for us and for the for the agency um, Hopefully they will be able to rebound and, and correct this. And, and, Do we know uh, if there's been a surveillance around or cameras or anything around this area? No, 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 not that we're aware of at this point. So we'll be looking into that as well as part of the investigation. What about environmental concerns? There's ashes on the beach right now. There's ashes on the beach. Um, we have uh, notified the Coast Guard for any uh, potential hazardous material that may have entered Long Island Sound. Also, our hazmat division has been notified uh, just in case uh, anything in the marsh or in the sound that they could be uh, help to assist in, in the process of any potential cleanup that may occur on the water. So that, that's being addressed. And you talked about arson being a possible concern. Are they going to bring out the uh, canine? Uh, that I don't know. That would be a question for the fire marshal. If, if they deem necessary, I'm sure they'll have them out here. Do you know if there was work going on here yesterday? Uh, that I don't know. It's still early in the investigation. They're looking into who may have been here. Uh, who, we're, we're trying to follow any leads that we may have from the citizens around the area that may have seen something. If anybody has seen something, people leave in the park at, at any time. Uh, feel free to give our dispatch number a call. It's 860-424-3333. Um, they'll pass that information on to one of our officers that will contact um, whoever may have some information uh, re regarding this incident. If anybody saw anything leave in the park, uh, please give us a call. Do you know if squad air is, is a problem here? Uh, not that I'm aware of, no. There's a lot of people showing up. Obviously, they come here every day to exercise. Mm -hmm. It's closed for today. I mean, what what would your response be? They seem kind of annoyed that they can't even access the beach. And yeah, stuff. no. Uh, like I said, it's a it's an ongoing active investigation right now. Um, the whole area is being cordoned off uh, for the fire marshal to have full access of the entire area. So we just can't have the public involved or entering the area right now for for, the, for that purpose only, so they can conduct a proper and thorough investigation. Is this building insured? Uh, that I don't know. And so who owns it? It's the uh, Right now, I believe the state does not own it. But, um, I believe it's still in the hands of the contractor. And who's the contractor? Uh, that I don't know at this time. Any injuries, Keith, at all there to anybody or firefighters? Or? 
no, None no on injuries our part. to firefighters, no injuries thankfully, yes. And since they're not able to go in for a little while, since it is unstable, um, how how long do you think it'll be before the fire marshal investigators can actually go in? I'm sure they've uh, begun uh, preliminary parts of their investigation in order to determine a cause. However, it's a slow systematic process in order to try and rule out what, what really happened here. So uh, they are on scene, they are investigating, and I think, uh, you know, they will get to the areas they need to in, in a timely manner once they deem that site is secure. When do you think that may be? Uh, throughout the day, I think, you know, I mean, we, we have the, the main body of the fire is all knocked down. It's basically hot spots. And at that point, it's, it's rendering whether certain areas are safe enough so that the personnel could navigate through there without getting injured. We've seen the pictures, especially the one that you sent us of just how bad it was when you arrived. I mean, what were you thinking? How long, how long do you think this was going before you even got those initial 911 calls? Uh, it, it certainly had some time to burn there in order to get fully involved to that to that magnitude. So uh, uh, it's it's hard to put a, an actual time figure on it. But however, it, it certainly was burning for quite some time before the arrival of the first units. And just to clarify, the building that's completely destroyed at this point that was bathrooms and the concession stand. So the two areas, to my understanding, that were burned were both uh, the concession stand, dining area, and the bathrooms, yes. And the office has the partial damage? Correct, I think this gentleman could. Yeah, that's correct. And those 911 callers, were they people that were here on the beach or folks that live nearby? I, I cannot confirm, but once I initially checked in with dispatch, they said one of the calls came from as far as the Walnut Beach area. They noticed it all the way down by uh, Broadway in Walnut Beach. So it was uh, it was quite visible from uh, from a distance. And park's obviously going to be closed today, like you guys have been saying all morning. Any thoughts on tomorrow? Uh, it depends on how far we get along with the process today. Um, so that, that's... And how will you alert folks? Um, we will probably have it posted on our website. Um, officers are going to be down here uh, pretty much around the clock until this investigation is completed. Um, so, like I said, a lot of it's going to determine on, on how the process goes today before we make a decision. Is there anything else you would want to say to people? I know this morning when we talked, you were talking about monitoring those environmental hazards, but you said there weren't any at the time. Folks might be concerned. What would you want to say? Um, like I said, you know, our hazmat and the Coast Guard have been notified with those with those hazardous issues as far as the water goes. Um, you know, whether the Coast Guard is going to come out and do an evaluation at this point, I'm not sure. Um, they, but they have been made aware of the situation. Um, and, uh, you know, it, 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 it all depends on how far this spread and, and environmental conditions, the wind factor last night, and, and uh, you know, uh, how many particulates may have gotten into the water, into Long Island Sound or in the marsh behind. But those uh, factors are still being uh, evaluated at this time. So it's, it's going to be a while before um, those decisions will be, will be uh, concluded. Um, as far as the uh, the amount of, uh, of damage that it, an environmental impact would have on the sound, so it's, that that's going to take some time. Now this was supposed to open on Memorial Day. How far along were they on construction? Were they almost done? Were they? They were close to being finished, unfortunately. So. Do you know if the electrical wiring had been done yet? I believe it did, but uh, I'm not 100% sure on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it.